February, we decided to start something called Top Tips, and where we asked scouters their top tips for something. And this month, we decided we were going to ask about... I've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to ask about your top tips to actually recruit new leaders. That's what it is. That's it. Yeah. My top tips for recruiting leaders is to make sure that it is fun whilst people give their time and effort. For me, it was about uh, giving something back and have fun doing lots of different things with young people. Just ask them and see what happens. I'd recruit adult volunteers into scouting by contacting the local colleges and local student unions to try and invite students into a scout environment for either a day or a few weeks. Students are keen to get something on their CV and do a bit of volunteer and get involved in the community outside of their campus life. And universities themselves love to encourage those sort of activities. Uh, my top tip for uh, recruiting new members is making them feel as though they are useful to you. So identifying what they are great at. So they could be good at crafts, for example, uh, and incorporate a night where they can come down and show their skills. And when they come down, they'll see how much fun it is and they'll never want to leave. So, yes, identifying what they're great at and making sure that they can feel useful and be welcoming. Say hi, give them a biscuit, a cup of tea, anything like that, and they'll want to stay. And my top tip for enticing leaders is to keep the rovers around so they feel welcome and want to become a leader. And most importantly, it's about being friendly. I try and learn the names of most of the parents and... Uh, get friendly with them, start talking to them outside the meeting room, just get to know people in general. But the different things I do is I try and do silly little gifts for people that have given up their time and this gets noticed. So a couple of things I've invented is if an adult comes and helps out at camp, I've created a thing called the camp support unit. And I've got this lovely little badge that I give out to all the adults that come and help us out at camp. And the progression from the camp support unit is we play a silly little game on our camps where we try and get as many clothes pegs as we can on other adults. So if you are a leader who has spent a night with us, then at 20th Worcester, you have earned your camp pegs. Um, these went down very, very well. One of the explorers, the young leaders that I gave these to, actually wore them to their explorer group. They were so proud of getting these. I thought they were just a silly little joke, but they turned out to be quite popular. So I've actually had people comment on these uh, wanting to get them. So they've worked really very well. That's just a couple of the things that I do. And my top tip for recruiting leaders is being an active and visible presence in the community. I rejoined Scouts as an adult when a local troop held a Shrove Tuesday pancake dinner. I looked around and thought, why am I not involved in this anymore? And I got involved, talked to the Scouters that night. I was in the troop within two months. What's the best way to get more new recruits into scouting? Tell them what we do. Tell them the story of what we do. Tell your stories. Get them out there. Social media, local paper. Get on the radio if you can. YouTube's good. Videos on the TV. That would be wonderful. But whatever you do, tell the story about what we do. If they know about the fun, the adventure, the challenges of scouting, then they'll come. And my top tip for getting a leader is to make sure you're having heaps of fun and people can see you're having heaps of fun and they want to join in. My top tips for recruiting more leaders is make it fun. Don't put too much on them to begin with and just get them involved. If you don't get people involved and keep them in arms then, they're never going to want to join you. But if you're the coolest group, they're going to want to be with you. Support new leaders when they start. If they've had a positive experience, then they will share that with others that are thinking about joining. My tip, best tip for district commissioners to get leaders is to entice the youth to go home and nag mum and dad to become a leader or on the committee so they can have as much fun as the kids do. It works every time.